Hello YouTube and fellow Terminator fans. Um, today we're doing part 10, the uh, inner eye sockets. Now they've given me those, the inner eye sockets, they are made of plastic which is great because we can cut them down. But if you just fit them standard into the eyes, the eyes are going to be pushed right far back again because they're designed obviously for, for where the standard eyes are. So what you have to do with those ones, they fit very nicely. They do fit in quite nicely, I'll give them that. So you're just slotting those into there. But as you can see, it's it comes right out. It's right out past where where I've you know drilled the holes to, to push that into there. So what I would recommend you do is with your nice sharp marker pen, you mark on here where you're gonna go to um to, to trim it down, where you want the eyes to go forward to. So make sure that's clicked right in. And then do a little mark there. And then you're following that same measurement all the way around and cutting all the way down. So you will be cutting the backs off of these, but you are going to be gluing it into place. But it has to follow exactly this line because it's got to stick onto this front plate. So it has to stick around the front plate. So these bits have to follow that this, this line exactly all the way around. So I have to follow that outer line all the way around. I'm just showing you this before I cut it. You can see where the line is now drawn on there. If that's picking up on camera, yeah, it is good. So you've got the line all the way around. I mean, the top, relatively good, relatively simple. The bottom, you can see where you're losing pretty much most of it. So at one point there, you're coming right to the edge, right up to the edge, so it just lifts up on the front plate. So you've got to be careful when you cut this out. You have to be really careful when you cut it out. I'd cut before the line and then file the line down. Take a little bit of time doing it. Um, you can use the, the uh, liquid chrome to color any, any parts that you feel are gonna be showing. Yeah, so right up to the line now, just below the line, cut it and then file it to make it fit. Right, I'm just gonna explain a little bit better how to do that because uh, I just watched that video back and it didn't seem that clear to me. So when you've got your mark there, you've marked where you want to cut this, this inner inner eye socket down so you've marked there and it is it's it's, it's a chunk you're taking out because i want to move quite far forward because they are way back so what you do is you'd, you'd put that up up to the uh, any any it doesn't have to be a file it can be any any measuring stick you want be a lolly stick if you wish so you're putting that up to there so you can see where the tape just touches the bottom of the of the inner eye socket and then you're just wrapping that around there so you've got a little bit of tape on there and then you use that to mark following the top of this all the way around. So you're going to draw a line with that. Just putting little dots in, dot, 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 dot. And then join all the dots so you've got a nice straight line all the way around. Once you've got that line all the way around, then you would start cutting into it. And it's this stuff's really soft and you can file it down. So it should be relatively easy to do that. Okay, cutting this down, it is, it's proving to be really, really soft. It's incredibly soft. I'm using a pair of... Um, a small pair of side cutters so you just cut one little square out bim, bim, and lift that off and then you can literally use it like scissors to just gently cut around don't go too close to the line stay on stay on your side of the line and you can literally just pop bits off it just it just comes off quite quickly or you can again just cut into it a little bit a little bit that side take that off a little bit that side dump and then you would just lift that out if you wish to do it that way because you can take it out a piece at a time then yeah relatively simple to do so just follow that line all the way around um get into these parts i'd leave these two parts like that for the till the end part and then um just a, a quick snip slightly before it we'll get rid of that plump plump yeah so leave those bits bits till last and then just cut those off when you're down to there just like that clip cut that off and file it down a little bit with that all cut down and actually fit in there you can see from the top that actually fits in beautifully that was a hell of a lot easier than i thought it was going to be and underneath it then you can see there's a, a little line at the top there but that's the little line that's there from the start um you can just do whatever you need to do with that push it a little bit further in but it covers in all of the um all the top parts so you can't see up and around the inside of the eye so you can't see into into the other side of that there and it fits really nicely and you can still bring the eyes all the way forward if you just trim it down Actually really simple to do. So all you then you do is repeat that with the um, the other inner socket. So again, you draw the line, measure it, draw the line all the way around, 
and you can literally cut it. It's it, it's easy enough to cut with like 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 scissors. It was easy enough to cut all the way around it and just file it to the size I needed it to be. Very simple, but it looks so much better with that surround around the eyes. You haven't got that huge gap there now. So they did put a little bit of thought into it. Not a great deal, but a little bit. You gotta love them for that. What do we get in the next issue? Oh, we've got the neck. We've got the neck coming in the next issue. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. So issue 11, you've got, you've got the neck. Oh, what I might be doing is a modification on, on this part here, because I don't think this sinks in um, deep enough. I think this, this, sticks, this sticks out way too far for me. I'm pretty certain it, it sinks in a lot deeper. So I'll find a way to make that, um, that recess a bit more. So that sinks in a bit more. Maybe maybe put a little more detail into this because it well it looks detailed at a glance. Once you once you blacken it down, it it isn't. There's there's not a lot of detail in there. Once you blacken it down, so we, I'll, I might find a way to make that look, make it pop a bit more, make it look more realistic. Okay, it's just a quick one. So oops, excuse me. Um, so until the uh, the next modification, you guys have fun with the bill.